Il n'y a pas de gueule, pas de mouille à souhait. D'accord. Il y a ce que ça m'a caché trop bien à souhait. Guys, you're on our way again. This is our new number. We just went for every money and hit the road. We woken up early. We are on the way to go cross the border to Ghana. Yeah, that's it. In case you're coming for the first time, I've been on the road for three days and three nights. Yesterday we came from Abidjan and slept at Abuaso. Abuaso is a town in Ivory Coast. Yeah, so this morning we are heading to the border town where we are going to cross. And my amazing family that I met on the way, they are behind. I'll tell you all about it. I've met a lot of amazing people. We've come all the way from Liberia to Ivory Coast. Now we are heading to Ghana. It's been a lot adventurous full of kindness and oh we've been sleeping on the road breaking and all so welcome if this is your first time click on the subscribe button tap on the bell and drop the comment and watch the previous the past two episodes to catch up okay stay watching and let's go love you guys <laughs>
Guys, can you see? Welcome to Ghana. We are in Ghana. We in Ghana. This is the port where we disembarked from our boat. And yeah, you can see a lot of activities here. Some people are carving their boats. Yep. Welcome to Ghana. This one wants nothing. It's fresh. This is how you know you are in Ghana, guys. So we've crossed over to Ghana, and just before I move to my final destination for now, I'm hungry. So we are, eat, we are having fufu with light soup with fish and meat. You can see, welcome to Ghana. <laughs> Let's eat, and this is 10 cities. So this is how they eat, huh? <coughs> Yum. This is plantain. Yeah? Plantain cassava. I've not eaten. Okay, I ate rice yesterday morning. That was the only thing I ate yesterday. The last time I was in Ghana, which was 2019, was the first time I had to go and like to. Like a beef. This is my second time eating it. This fresh fish. Yeah. This fresh fish. Oh, yeah. This fresh fish. My Ghanaian people hope I'm eating it right. I'm full. I'm back home. Ghana, I'm back home. <laughs> Feels so good to be back. <laughs> so this is basically the car park where people board to go to Takradi and other parts of Ghana once you cross over. Yeah? You can, you can hear them shouting Takradi. So I'm actually going to Takradi. The people we came together, that's their car, they've boarded, they're going to half a city, so we separate here now, and this is my bag. Look at how dirty my bag is looking. I need to have it washed, cleaned. So that's the car I'm going to board now, and go that one. Yeah. Guys, so we are on our way now, we're going to Top Radio. been a long way for me but we still get a temporary final destination yeah
sensuel. Guys, so this is where our adventure has led us to. We are now in Ghana. Yay! Akwaba. I tell myself, welcome to Ghana. You guys, welcome to Ghana as well. I'm reaching you from a road, not from the road. <laughs> it's been crazy four days on the road. I actually came in today. I just got in like maybe an hour ago, like checked into this place. And this place is made possible courtesy of Wodemaya, guys. You guys know Wodemaya already? In case you don't... I mean, Wodemaya is the most influential YouTuber in Africa. In case you don't know him, now you know. So, link in the description box down below. Go subscribe to his channel. Tell him thank you from Vetlogs. We are grateful people. We always appreciate. Thank you so much, Maya. So, this is what happened. As soon as I crossed from Ivory Coast to Ghana, right there at the border, I just got someone's phone and called Maya. I was like, hey, Maya. I mean Ghana he was shocked because you guys you, you follow the adventure it wasn't planned like Ghana was just a last minute decision but I'm so happy I made the decision and I'm in Ghana now like I'm so happy but I was like yeah Ga uh, Maya this is it I'm here he was like okay but you I got you don't worry he called his sister the sister made this arrangement for me and the sister came and picked me up you know at the bus station where I dropped and she brought me here very nice lady nice people I'm so grateful guys like <laughs> This is just crazy. Just thinking how this whole journey has, you know, unfolded from Liberia and I'm here in Ghana is just unbelievable to me. Honestly, I can't believe myself. Like, it's just a lot. But I think I'm going to do a separate video just summarizing my whole experience and all. For now, I'm really grateful. I'll get to sleep here on a bed today where I slept yesterday, guys. My body still hurts, like my body still aches. But I'm grateful. My journey has been good, full of a lot of blessings and just lessons and that would you know gladly share with you in my next video summarizing my journey for now this is it i'm going to rest 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 and probably do some work later and then figure out my timing and i'm going to be here for a while so if you've not subscribed click on the subscribe button tap on the bell and definitely drop a comment what do you think what do you think yeah and if you don't know why we are here you have to watch the previous two videos to catch up on how and why we are here in ghana okay thank you so much for watching guys i love all of you i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>